Hi, and welcome to a lot progress video number 15. It has definitely been a while. For everyone who is new to the series, here's a quick recap of what you have missed. As you can see, I have always ignored hit points. But since I have finally made enough money to be able to afford to buy a cannon, and I also got to 60 smithing, which unlocks blast furnace to be able to make steel bars more easily, hit points from this point forward will no longer be ignored. So my current goal on this account is to equal out my hit points before reaching to base 70. And currently I have approximately 111,000 hit point experience to save. The reason why I didn't complete this quest sooner are because of two reasons. One, the main reason is because it provides 18,000 and a half combat experience in attack and strength. That combined will give me a lot of Slayer trouble. But because I have decided to put all my XP lamps on Slayer now, because Herblore is actually quite easy, so holding Dragon Slayer off is no longer needed. And the second reason is because it will also unlock Dragon Slayer tasks, which I don't really am a big fan of, but... It's too late, Dragon Slayer is completed, I got a lot of XP, this should not give me any levels, pretty close though. But the main benefit of completing this quest is because there are so many quests locked behind this quest that it is, yeah, I'm gonna be completing a lot of quests right now. Got the armband, the lava eel and the fire feather, this should be the quest completed, 30,000 experience in a bunch of skills. All of the skills that were available in 2002, I think. No levels, but I have now access to this place. I don't think I have too much money, though. I kind of want to buy the Dragon Battle Axe, but 200,000 GP when I have just bought a cannon. I don't think I have enough money for that. I think that this is my entire cash pile. All right, with the Hero's Quest completed, a lot of quests have now been unlocked. So that is also the reason why I did Dragon Slayer, because that was a quest requisite for Hero's Quest, which a lot of quests are locked behind. So let's complete those. I was going through the bank and I found some stuff that I could still elk. I've just elked all of it and I got 875,000 GP. And despite not being able to make any more money from smithing, hell, I will even need to spend money on smithing nowadays, I still think that I might be able to buy this dragon battle axe. And there we go, there went 200,000 GP. Already got three dragon items to my name. Now the fourth one will probably be the dragon scimitar, but therefore I will need to be like base 66 or 63 to be able to obtain all that Dyro XP reward. Wait, did I just put it on thieving? Ah, dang it. And there we go, the very beautiful rune gloves, finally. Now I'll only need to train six more skilling rounds to get to base 66 to be able to buy my next upgrade of RFD gloves. And those are gonna be looking really nice. For now, I am happy with my rune gloves upgrade because I had those adamant gloves for like a very long time. And we're done with only like 5 or 6 games. The final upgrade of base 60, ooh nice genie. Let's get the reward from Commander Conard and get the final upgrade. Level 60 range gear, this has basically the same stats as the red dehyde chaps, but then for free. And you also don't need a crafting requirement, so that looks much better. Alright, and these were the upgrades of base 60. Now we've got the rune gloves, dragon weaponry, as well as the penance skirt. Alright, let's move on and let's start getting base 61. 
currently here in Xander is because of my habit that all of my hunter experience must come from catching eclectics, which I've been doing from level 50 to 60 at a miserly 5000 experience per hour. However, I did get a lot of much needed money from them as well as from the medium clues. Currently at 173 medium caskets opened, which got me 3 pairs of wizard boots, 1 pair of holy sandals and 1 pair of spiked manacles. And since I got my best in slot boots for melee up until I get my hands on dragon boots, and I also don't really have a dire need to get rangers or I don't really need any more elements to elk, I think I'm gonna stop catching eclectics for now and I'm gonna be training hunter the fast way for now. That is gonna be catching red salamanders. Which is gonna be like 20 times faster from 5k xp an hour to 100. Ooh, I'm gonna be definitely noticing that difference. But before starting that, let's quickly deposit this. And let's open up these five medium clues, caskets, Zamorak pitch, very nice. Stall, prayer, alcaballs, alcaballs, very nice. I still need a lot of money though. And smithing is done. This unlocks nothing much. Let's finish the inventory and with 2200 cannonballs that should definitely hopefully get me to 61 ranged. Let's immediately get 61 slayer and base 61. Oof, 62 agility is needed to climb these rocks. One more level, next one. Now I've completed another 9 task at Toriel, so let's hope that Connor will assign me something where I will be able to use my cannon because that will, yeah, that is pretty necessary. Let's see, let's check. Fire Giants in the Stronghold Slayer. Hey, I can use my cannon. Perfect, 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 perfect. Yes, but using the calculations that I've already made for smithing, I should have enough cannonballs every smithing level, which should get me almost two range levels, like one and a half range level for one smithing level of cannonballs. So I don't really think I need that much accuracy, so... But melee will be trained very quickly, so I will need to train some ranged exclusively. And by doing that, I will still need to make an adamant crossbow, so uh, let's make that right now. Uh, first, a farm run, though. Adamantite limbs bought here in Keldegrim. Now, I apparently still need to spin the sinews, so be right back. So I wanted to figure out what it gives the most attack bonuses, melee or range, since I don't really have that great of range gear. So the current gear that I have for melee is the 97 slash with this gear. But if I change this to a U Shorebow and with my combined gear, that's already 106. But if I change this to a Dorgash and Crossbow, which requires 28 with a Book of Law, that's already 111. But since I got 61 Fletching, I can now make an Adamant Crossbow and it should be BAM 147. This should give my cannon so much accuracy for whenever I have already completed all of my melee stats and I just need to train some ranged independently. Honestly, I can't really believe what is going on here. This cannon makes Slayer so much faster. Wow, it feels like range is going faster than my melee training. And that is then 61 arranged and Slayer, 1402 total. Now the only thing remaining is then some prayer, which equals also some woodcutting at pest control. And then the final one, which I'm gonna be doing now, is magic, but I'm not really sure how to do it. I don't really want to do some more Slayer experience via it, because that causes more hit point experience. So either it is going to be back to the library, but instead of runecrafting, I will be putting it on magic. But another way I could be doing it is from level 63, I will have access to the magic guild with a wizard mind bomb. So from base 63, I will have easy access to nature rune so I can elk everything that I own in my bank. But before I get that far, I have no idea how to train my magic to be honest. That also kind of goes with the magic training arena. I need a lot of nature and law runes, so therefore before base 63 I also cannot do the magic training arenas. So my best guess is currently alchemy with the nets that I currently have. Arceus library, I guess.
I did a little bit of Vasius Library and I've also found Mythical Pickaxes from all those eclectics that I've caught. I've elk those and that is 61 Magic as well as 61 Base. So that will conclude this video. From level 60 to 61, the upgrades that I've gotten is completed Heroes Quest and bought a Dragon Battle Axe, got Rune Gloves, completed Legends Quest as well as the Penance Cut and Adamant Crossbow. I hope you've all enjoyed this video. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.